Good Monday morning. I'm Carly Boyette. Good morning. I'm Natalie Taylor. Thank you so much for joining us on another great edition of Tampa Bay's Morning Blend. Yeah, we thought we would start out the week with a delicious meal idea. I'll say, and Chef Adam joins uh -huh. us today from Oyster Catchers to make one of their signature dishes this morning. Good morning. How are we doing, ladies? Good, good. How, How are you doing you? on a Monday? Excellent. Thank you so much for having us today. We appreciate it. Hey, we appreciate it. Look at the spread. You guys are doing awesome already. We haven't even dove into cooking. <laughs> What are you making for us today, Chef? So today we're featuring one of our dishes that we're going to be doing for Restaurant Week coming up next week. And we're also showcasing it at the uh, Creative Loathing Meet the Chefs event. Meet the Chefs. Are you going to be one of the chefs that people can meet? We are, yes. Right. It's going to be a great opportunity for us to really interact with the local foodies and really just have a great opportunity to, uh, to showcase our beautiful food for them. So we're very excited about it. You said that keyword foodies. Yep. Are you a foodie? Do you consider yourself a foodie? I like to consider myself a foodie, absolutely. I like to go out there and try good foods and see what's going out there in the industry. So. All right. Well, what are you making for for us this morning. So today we got a beautiful uh, Japanese hamachi here, also um, known as a yellowtail tuna. So we're just ah. going to do a um, nice simple preparation on it. We're going to slice it nice and thin. It's a very nice fish that I like. It's got a nice fat con to it. It's very clean and refreshing. Uh, lots of high omega-3 uh, fat in there. Oh. So it's very good for you uh, and it just eats really well. So I'm a big fan of the product. So Is this wanna... easy to prepare for it's folks watching at home? I mean there's not a lot of cooking. It's Absolutely. pretty raw, it can, isn't it? It can so. be a little deceiving here, but it's very similar to ahi tuna, yellowfin yeah. tuna. So, you know, you can just do a nice simple sear on it. You can eat it raw. It's very versatile. There's lots of stuff you can do with it. So very approachable fish, if you will. All approachable. Right. Let's see you approach it. <laughs> All right. So here we're going to do a couple nice slices here in our fish. Uh, we're probably going to get about four pieces here, put it on the plate. So you just want a nice little thicker piece there. So you get some nice meatiness to the fish when you eat through it. So we're just going to place this right in our plate here. Then we've got some beautiful signature smoked sea salt from oyster catchers here. So this is just going to give it a nice little unami flavor to it. So when you eat it, it kind of gives that nice charcoal flavor, if you will. We've got some beautiful avocado puree here. So just very Ooh. simple avocado, a little sour cream in there. And That's a healthy bit. too. I exactly, like this. Yeah. So this, this nice fat content is just going to really help when you eat the dish. It's just going to really pair it all nicely. So we've got some compressed cucumbers here. Oh. So we just put these. Um, I was going to say, what is a compressed cucumber? <laughs> so we vacuum package these. We're basically sucking out all of the water and forcing flavor into it. So we use a vinegar and we're basically making oh. homemade pickles instantly, if you will. Oh, okay. so how do you do that again? <laughs> yeah. so, you're just gonna, so you're just going to vacuum package them. We put them in a um, in a sealed bag. Okay. And we're just taking out all the moisture. Can you do that at home? Or do you uh, need yeah, special they, tools they, and they fancy tools They've got some special to tools, okay. yeah, but they've got some vacuum package machines that you can use at okay. home, and it makes it very easy. It sounds complicated, but it's really nice and simple. Huh. I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> exactly. So here we got a homemade hot sauce that we do. So um, some local peppers that we use just with a little bit of nice vinegar just really gives a nice flavor mm -hmm. to it. Not overwhelming and spicy, just some nice flavor to it. So we're just going to put a nice little squeeze on there and it's got some beautiful color to it as well. And then we're just going to finish it up with these beautiful micro citrus. So just very tender greens here, but it's just going to have a nice pop of kind citrus of fresh, to the dish. Yeah, exactly. It's just going to mellow everything out together. Hey, so. you brought oysters over here. We can't talk about <laughs> oyster catchers and not go into oysters. Exactly. How are the oysters these days? So the oysters are absolutely amazing. We've got some um, beautiful oysters that we're doing down at Oyster Catchers. We actually uh, integrated a new uh, seafood tower. So, you know, it gives you the opportunity to really showcase, you know, we've got some beautiful oysters to try. We've got some beautiful local prawns that we have as well uh, and some nice uh, crab claws as well. So it's a really nice sharing item for the table. And normally when you say prawn, those are bad I mean, those are big boys, right? Oh, yeah. I well, mean, those are huge. Uh, That's why you call around. them that. Yeah, yeah. and the, they're local. They are local. Coming out of the Gulf there, so just very nice and succulent, very nice products. So we're very proud to have the nice local product here. And, you know, we brought up Meet the Chef earlier. I've, I'm always curious, is this the dish we're going to see, or you got to kind of keep that so, yeah, one So, yeah, this is rest? the dish. we got a few little additions that we're going to uh -huh. do to it, but um, this is kind of be what we're going to focus on for that event there. So it's going to be a lot of fun for us. And, hey, we want to welcome you to Tampa Bay, by the way. Thank He's you. coming to us. Uh, you've only been, you haven't even been here a year yet. Coming Coming to us from Canada, exactly. Saskatchewan. Yeah. Very nice. I love that. What do you think of the Bay Area so far? I mean, for a kid growing up in Canada, small town, uh, lots of snow all the time. It's amazing to be close by the ocean, you know, and the weather is just amazing all the time. So it's like we're living the dream out here. Yeah. yeah. I'm curious though, being from Canada, being from that far north in Canada, <laughs> where did your affinity for cooking fish come from? Oh, fish. I mean, for me uh, at home, I mean, yes, we live uh, not close to the ocean, but there's many beautiful lakes out yeah. there and we do a lot of fishing out there. So huh. that's one thing that I've always 
done with my father is taking us out, doing some fishing, catching some local fish, and just really cooking them up and, and showcasing the beautiful local product. And now you get to do it in the Bay Area. This is exactly. like the best That's spot the to key. do it. That's so. the key. Yeah. Well, good. Uh, remind everybody when they can come out and see you, uh, aside from, and I know you guys have a Father's Day um, yes. brunch as well. And so we got Father's Day coming up here. Um, it's going to be a great event. You know, we got all the great breakfast mm -hmm. items. You know, we got some alligator sausage as well, doing something nice and local. Alligator we got sausage. lobster, eggs benedict, and you know, all the nice carvery items okay. in the salads. We got a great team over there. The staff will really have, uh, you know, give you a great experience there. I think so. Dad's going to want alligator sausage. Absolutely. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And then when they can meet you, meet the chef. So that's going to be um, next Wednesday down okay. at Coppertail Brewing Company, and it's going to be a, you know, right. a lot of fun over there. Awesome. Thanks, Thank Chef Adam. We Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah, we look forward to having you back. Thank you.